Hi, everybody. It's Lori Staley, Addicted Stamper. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in South Central Pennsylvania in a small town called Billsburg. So welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I am going to do a little bit of housekeeping here today, and then we're going to jump right into my pre-order that finally came. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited to share all the new colors with you. That is so awesome. Please ignore the description under the video that is there while I am live because it is obviously not accurate. That's last week's description. I did not make it home from my retina specialist appointment this morning in time to update that. So I will be fixing that after the live, but I didn't want to delay. I didn't want to be late. So if you're on watching me, please say hello. And I'm going to hop right into the housekeeping so we can get to the goodies. Even though my pre-order is here, the mini catalog and the annual catalog are still, the products in them, in some cases, are still available. Hi, Corinne. Um, and there's still lots of good products available. I actually had a customer call me yesterday to put a nice order in, a very significant order. And I think there was only three things out of her entire order that we weren't able to get for her. So there's still lots of goodies available in the last chance promotions. Remember, there's a lot of product discounted in this promotion up to 60%. So if you haven't taken advantage of that yet, you still have time. There are a lot of things gone as well, right? Um, but there is more to be had. So make sure you're checking that out. If you don't have a demonstrator in the United States that you're working with um, and you want to place an order, I would love to help you with that. Um, and I'll also send you a new annual catalog um, as well. So make sure you are reaching out to me if you need a demonstrator in the area. Also just wanted to mention that if you have seen the retired list and you saw some asterisks, there is going to be a selection of product that's going to be a, continue to be available in our online store. And um, I'll talk more about that probably next week. But some of that product with those asterisks, if you look at the bottom, it'll tell you what the asterisks mean. And you'll be able to continue to obtain those in the online store. Unfortunately, I just got a call this morning. And yes, everything to do with the Stamparatus has been sold out. So the magnets, the foam, um, deluxe foam pad, and the grid paper, along with the Stamparatus itself, is gone. So I know a lot of people have been asking about that. Just wanted to make sure everybody was clear on that. This was announced this morning. This pretty kit is brand new to our kit collection. And our kit collection, like our online exclusives, are featured in my online store. And you can find the link for that below. Um, this is a for fr the Forever Friends kit. Hey, Debbie, good to see you. Um, and I think it's so pretty. I love it. It will be available starting tomorrow. Don't try to rush out and order it today. It's $21. The item number is 162363. It is Forever Friends. Um, you can see the colors that are here and the cute little stamp set. Nobody gets me like you get me. Forever Friends. It, I'm always here for you no matter what. You can do hard things. And then... Uh, Sending lots of hugs. Sorry, I did have an eye appointment this morning and my eyes are dilated, so I didn't plan to read today. <laughs> um, enough supplies to create cards for each of two different designs with the coordinating envelopes, the photopolymer stamp, a Knight of Navy ink spot, uh, printed card bases, printed foil envelopes. Oh, I can see us cutting those apart, right? Foil die cuts, adhesive, twine, and a clear block. And then your finished card size is our standard five and a quarter by four and a quarter. I bet that's a typo. I bet it's five and a quarter by four to fit in the envelopes, but I might be wrong. Coordinating colors are going to be Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Knight of Navy, Old Olive, and Petal Pink. So there you go. That is going to be a very pretty one. I will be grabbing that and we will probably have a kit takeover on an upcoming YouTube. Okay. What else do I want to tell you? Oh, just a reminder. When you do place for April, a minimum $35 product order on my website using the host code, remember you earn the Just Card Kits. And whether you're local or long distance, you can take advantage of this. These are the cards for April. And really, these were designed so that in most cases, all you need to do is add a greeting. Now, this one does use the... Um, Oh, it just flew right out of my head. I know the paper's by the bay. Seaside Bay, is that what it's called? 
seaside bay stamp set just for that little image right there but i bet you have something you could put there if you don't have that one did i answer your question corinne the colors um so yeah so there's these five this little guy don't worry this is cut out of the designer series paper you might get a bunny you might get a turtle you might get something else um depending upon how many i have i'll be using all those little animals that are in the paper to cut out and include in a kit but so don't get be surprised if you get the kit and you're like hey i didn't get the bunny no nope, you might get one of the other cute animals but it's also a really nice fun fold okay so it stands up like that so there's that and then this one is done with the Regency Park. This is done with the Flora Designer Series paper. And then this pretty one as well. Okay, so those are the five that you would get. You get all the supplies to make the five cards, plus the envelopes, plus a color PDF. And if you are local, you can join us for the in-person class, which is always the second Wednesday of the month. I believe that's May 10th at 3 p.m. If you're long distance, there is a $4 postage charge to get them to you but the kit is completely free. All the embellishments come in there as well. So the ribbons and any embellishments would be included in your kit. All right. And then we did these cards last week together. These were from the paper pumpkin. We did um, one of each of the designs as they wanted. And then we did two that I had designed with the products. So the winner of this is Shirley Bain. And Shirley, I don't know if I saw you hop on. Hey, Donna, good to see you. Oh, good. Okay. I did answer your question. Um, so anyway, Shirley, I will be popping these into the mail to you sometime over the next week. I think I have Christine's laying back here from another live. So we'll get those out as well. All right. Are we ready to see some new products? I'm so excited to share these with you. I really had intended to try to do it over the weekend, but it just didn't work with Easter and having people here all weekend. So um, look at the back of our new catalog. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Guess what? There are dyes inside this catalog to make those flowers. So, so pretty. I can't show you the inside of the catalog. We're not allowed to do that yet. I'll show you the front. That's also pretty. And that's featuring a lot of our new colors, right? Um, I haven't memorized them yet. Lemon Lolly, Lolly Lemon. And this is the pink, the bubble, bubble pad, bubble bath, I think. Um, that's, I think, either Copper Canyon, I think. Berry Burst, which is a returning color. Blueberry Bushel. I haven't quite figured out, but I think that's Lost Lagoon. So features all of our, or not all, but some of our new colors that are coming. If you, again, do not have a demonstrator in the US that you are working with and you're watching this video and you're like, I need that catalog in my life, please reach out to me um, and we will work that out that you can get a catalog, okay? But anyway, that's all I can show you for now until the launch date, which I believe is May 2nd, May 2nd or May 3rd. Um, but I am gonna show you the products that I ordered in my pre-order, bubble, bubble bath, thank you. I thought that's what it was. All right. This whole thing with my eye has me a little bit behind the eight ball with all the changes that are coming. I'm going to show you the colors first. And hopefully there's not going to be too much of a glare because I didn't open these packages, obviously. But these are the returning colors. Okay. So Misty Moonlight, which was one of my favorite blues. So I'm happy that that came back. Um, it's a great denim. So we can do lots of fun things to create denim look. And uh, so that's Misty Moonlight. Pretty Peacock is returning. And that's such a pretty color. And, I, you know, I was thinking about it. I'm betting the reason, even though they seem very different to us, I'm betting the reason we didn't get Evening Evergreen back is because they were bringing Pretty Peacock back. But I wouldn't be surprised if Evening Evergreen shows up in our future somewhere. I don't know anything. I'm just guessing. This is the Lost Lagoon. So that is that green on the front of the cover. Okay, and that's very, very close to soft succulent. So, until you put them side by side. <laughs> Blueberry bushel, another really pretty blue. This is a brighter blue. Lemon lime twist. I have a fellow demonstrator that loved lemon lime twist. So I know she is over the moon that this returned. Okay, and that's a greenish yellow. We have lots of greens and lots of blues right now. And lots of pinks. And this is Berry Burst. And this is a really good um, summer color, right? 
So berry burst. So those are the colors that we had previously, whether they were in colors, and I think those all were in colors. I don't think any of those are returning four colors. Um, so those are returning in colors that are now part of the core collection, subtles, brights, neutrals, and regals. And you're gonna, if you keep your colors, whether it be your ink pads, your markers, your cardstock, in order by color family. I know some people do it that way. Some people do it by rainbow order. Okay. And if you do it by rainbow order, you know, you'll be able to figure out where your colors need to go. But if you do it by color family, you're going to want to check out the color families um, when you get your catalog because they move colors around too. Um, like I think Gorgeous Grape is now a regal, for instance. Okay. So it's no longer in the bulbs or the brights. Oh, bulbs. That goes back a long way. We used to call them bold brights. <laughs> All right, so then let me pull in. And I think these got mixed up. So we're gonna start with the in colors or try to anyway. Um, so Pebble, Pebble Path, Pebble Path, which is a nice grayish, there's a little bit of brown undertone in there, but that's a nice gray. And then we have Copper Clay. I love this one. It's great for fall, and I'm a fall girl, right? Wild wheat. Now, we have a lot of opinions on what this particular color looks like, and everyone that I hear says the same thing. So I'm not going to say it, but I bet you're thinking it. Um, but it does give you a cardstock in a goldish tone. So I can see using this as a layer to try to pull in some gold tone to your project, right? But that is Wild Wheat. This is my favorite and I've already used some of it for something for my club this month. Boho Blue. This is what the mini machine was available in for the promotion during celebration if you joined uh, the Stampin' Up! team. So that's a really pretty blue. I do like that one. And I like Moody Mall. Moody Mall, right? Hey, Debbie, good to see ya. So that's going to be a great color too. And, you know, some of the, now I will warn you, <laughs> what I have already learned is I was looking at these, not necessarily in the cardstock, but in the ribbon, and I couldn't tell them apart. Um, so yeah, there's definitely color lost as a result of my surgery. So we might have some very interesting color combinations. We'll see. But the report this morning was great. And for the first time in six years, I don't have to go back for four months. So. That's good news. All right, so those are our incoming in colors. They're muted, right? They're muted tones, they're earthy tones, uh, which is a great compliment to, uh, yes, exactly, Debbie, <laughs> something you do with babies. It's a great compliment to the in colors that are carrying over because those are much bolder and bright. So I think this makes a great compliment. It rounds out our color collection very nicely. Then the new colors that are coming as part of the core colors. This one is the bubble bath. Okay, they could have just as easily called this bubble gum, I think. Um, but I do like it. It's a nice soft true pink. Okay, so petal pink is a little more peachy. This one's going to be a, a much better pink if you want a true pink, I think. I like that one so much. For some reason, I bought two packs of it. <laughs> Then this is the Lemon Lolly, okay? And that I think is a very pretty light yellow. Then we have Azure Blue. So that is a little bit more vibrant blue. We had a Ballet Blue back in the day. I don't know how many of you have been around as long as I have, but Ballet Blue, a little duskier than this, but about in that shade family. And then we have pecan pie. Again, I love, love, love this one. Um, perfect for fall. Like I can see acorns made out of this, right? So that's the colors, guys. And of course, that's the card stock. I did buy all the ink pads. Haven't opened them yet. That's on my agenda today. My studio is a disaster right now because I've got orders coming in. I've got catalogs coming in. I've got the pre-order here that I was waiting to do with you all. Um, I've got all my retired stuff sitting around in various stages of what am I doing with it? 
So yeah, today is clean the studio day so Lori can get to work. And then they have, of course, the blends. I don't have the blends here, but I did get the blends in these colors. They have the in-color mark, or not the in-color markers, the markers, okay? So one thing I want to mention to you about our stamp and Write markers. I'm excited and I am getting the in-color markers. I'll share those with you when they come. Um, they change the writing tip. So if you've had our stamp and Write markers, you know it's a very fine tip. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it doesn't, didn't. Well, they have now changed that tip to a bullet tip similar to what's on the blend, except that I haven't seen it in person yet, but it looks to be a little bit thinner. So I'm excited about that because I think we shouldn't have that problem where you can't get the ink to flow out of the point, the fine point. And then here are the ribbons. So this is the uh, copper clay, moody mauve, pebble path. For some reason, I did not buy wild wheat. I'm not sure why. And then this is the boho blue, which I've also already opened and used some of. So very nice, very pliable, easy to work with to make your bows, right? Um, I forget what the width is on this. Let's see. Does it tell me? This is a 3 8 inch ribbon. It will fray nicely for you if you like the frayed end look. And if not, you'll just want to trim it with your paper snips after you've created your bow because you can see it frays out a little bit when you're messing around with it but uh i like sometimes having that frayed edge so i like it when they're a little easier hi tina a little easier to fray out right okay, okay. so that's the ribbons and there is one in wild wheat i just for whatever reason didn't purchase it call me crazy what do you want to do next what do you want to do next how about oh here's some more ribbon so this is a duo pack. I think this is part of a suite and it literally is called the ribbon duo combo pack. So we have bubble bath and we have lemon lime twist. This is a really pretty pink ribbon. Hopefully that's showing up on camera for you. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be fun to play with. A little bit narrower than our in color ribbon, right? And there's a lot more ribbon coming guys. It's just that for the pre-order, we could only choose from a certain selection because there's no way in the warehouse they could have everything for the pre-order for demonstrators to be able to order um, and everything out of the current annual catalog. So we get a selection that we can order from, uh, which brings up a very good point. If you've been considering becoming a demonstrator, even if it's for the discount, now's a great time because you can put pre-order product into your starter kit for $99. $125 in product. You need to learn how to make those bows. Those are the only bows I can make. <laughs> I call them air bows because I do them in the air and then I put them on the project. If I have to tie a project uh, card onto a project, oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. All right. And then these were the two embellishments we could order. And these are the adhesive backed gems. Actually, I'm surprised we couldn't order any. I have to go back and look. Not like I'm not going to put another order in. <laughs> so this is in the Lemon Lolly, the Boho Blue, and I'm thinking that is the Pecan Pie. So that's a really pretty assortment. I like those. I even like those colors just together as they are, right? And then these are the, oh, these are the 23, 25 in color dots. There we go. Is there ribbon for Pecan Pie? Mm, give me one second and I'll look. I think there is, Corinne, if I remember correctly. So here's your boho blue, your clay, copper clay, clay copper, moody mauve, that wild wheat, and then the pebbled path. And they're like the milky dots that were in the mini catalog. So they glisten a little bit. They have a shine, nice shine to them, but those are really pretty as well. I will be doing my in color club again this year. Um, and that will run for five months and each month you will get one in color and all the products that are available individually in it, right? So like one month you would get Moody Mauve and you would get the cardstock, the ink pad, the re-inker, the ribbon. You'd get that section of the uh, glossy dots. Um, trying to think what else is out there. I don't do the six by six designer series paper. Um, well, no, I don't know if that's true. I think I do want to do the in color club, yeah. So you'd get everything. So I'm working on the pricing for that. Stay tuned. There'll be more information coming out in my newsletter about that. And if you're not a newsletter subscriber, you can subscribe down below. 
let's go to paper next while we're talking about it. So this is part of a birthday suite of products, bright and beautiful. This is a six by six pack. So, okay, so we're gonna have to, I slid them, but I didn't, wasn't smart enough to think about pulling each one out so we could see them a little bit easier. So let me do that while we're talking. Um, and then I wanna, just wanna point something out on the ink pads, which I'm discovering is not common knowledge. <laughs> So I want to make sure as you guys are getting your new inks, because this is going to be a bigger year than just new in colors, right? That you have an opportunity. This is a great array of colors in here. And then I'll flip them over and show you. Show you the other side too. Okay, I think I got to the end here. Sorry about that. So. Bright, very bright colors. So I see some blueberry bushel and some azure blue in there, and berry burst, lemon lime twist. And then that's our lemon lolly, I think. Oh, I like that, I like the stripe. I like this one too, a little bit of a watercolor effect on that. Cute. No, oh, pick it up. There we go. These will make great backgrounds for the more subtles and then really cool accent pieces, right? There's some pretty peacock and lost lagoon in that one. This will be good with the uh, by the bay product bundle. I'm not sure if it's bundled or if it's going to be sold separately, but I know the designer series paper is not carrying over from that sweet collection, but you could absolutely use these blues with that. Stars and then stripes and another watercolor wash background. So that is cool. Did I tell you what that was called? That is called Bright and Beautiful. Oh, that's a good idea. I might do that. That's a very good idea. Oh, yes. And I was going to look for you, Corinne, about the con pod. Let me do that right now. I really want to say yes, because I was looking for it. I know that there is, um, let's see. There's also jute in the ink colors. In addition to that ribbon I showed you, there is a pecan pie ribbon. Yep. And it's really pretty, but I can't show it to you because it wasn't on our pre work. Well, I just something on the floor. All right. So that's one of the six by six papers that's coming. And then we have the Countryside Inn paper. This is also part of a sweet collection. And this is going to be your blues, right? So. That is a very pretty background. Almost reminds me of wallpaper. And then much more masculine on the backside. Again, it could be wallpaper. So I could see the top portion of a um, vertical card with this on it, and then the bottom portion underneath. So you have like your two wallpaper patterns. Look at the bunnies. Mm, how perfect as we leave the Easter season behind, right? But he's so cute anytime. Great for baby cards. Another great neutral pattern. This one, you know, it's funny. My mother-in-law was here this weekend and I was showing her this, these goodies. Um, and I didn't see the animals in it the first time we went through it. <laughs> More stripes. But now I'm seeing the animals. This one's pretty too. More subtle stripes. Here we have some foxes. Gonna pull both of those out. So there's the fox. I really like the, these patterns. Oh, I like that one too. And then this is trees and flowers. Oh, and those are little flowers on there. So I didn't look at it very closely the first time I went through it. 
So, and that's the end of that pack. So that pack is called Countryside Inn. And of course it's 12 by 12. In addition to the In Color Club, I will be doing my paper share again. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And in my paper share, um, everything is to six by six size, but you get a quarter of a pack. So you get two six by sixes. So you don't have to decide, oh, I really like the front of that pattern, but I really like the back of that pattern too. And I only have one six by six, so I have to make a choice. Nope, you're gonna be able to use both sides because you're gonna get two six by six pieces in my paper share. Debbie says, I ordered the country and DSP. It is so, so pretty, absolutely. All right, and then Zoo Crew, which I only ordered the paper because again, I was doing, getting ready for the paper share and I got as much of it as I could at the time. And now I fell in love with the paper. So now I'm gonna go get the suite eventually. Um, because I don't have children. I don't have children in my life. Like, I don't have little ones. There's not a lot of us left. And we just are of the age to have young children. Um, and I just keep praying every day that my nephew doesn't have a child <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay. So look at this. Isn't this cute? We've got an alligator, a fox, a bunny, a ostrich, maybe? An ant eater. So, so cute. On all kinds of skates and unicycles and bicycles and scooters and then the back side is black and white guys love it here we've got an elephant and a koala bear and a raccoon more ant eaters armadillo maybe that's an armadillo puppy dogs kitty cat nope he's a raccoon where's the kitty cats more black and white <laughs> there's the kitty cat We've got a reindeer. Is that supposed to be a reindeer? And sheep and hippos. Leopard. Cute. More black and white. I love the black and white. You know me. I'm a black and white with a pop of color. And then we've got a little piggy. He's out hiking. Got some mountain ranges in there. A gopher with butterflies. A skunk with a bird on his head. Some trees. I think. Is that supposed to be a little mouse? Maybe, I think. Lion, toasted marshmallows. These are really cute patterns. Really cute patterns. There's a sloth and a ram and a llama. I guess that's a bear, you think? And a little hedgehog. Oh, he'd be cute with our hedgehog set because that did carry over. More black and white. <laughs> oh, I love the turtle singing. This is great. If you have singers in your life, people who are in choirs or love to do karaoke, how cute is this paper with the musical notes and then all the animals either singing or playing instruments? And we've got a banjo, a accordion, squeeze box, whatever you call it, a flute. Really cute. So that is Zoo Krill. That is adorable. But if you're not a fan of the animals, then you've got some great black and white patterns that you can use. Right. So, yep, I'm convinced now I need that. See, you're not the only one that falls subject to dag on it. <laughs> I didn't think I wanted that. Now I do. Then we have our new Daisy collection, Fresh as a Daisy. And we have this one, which is going to be great to cut apart. And use these as our focal images, right? Look at that beautiful landscape. That reminds me of the Midwest. Um, and then these little accent pieces that we can use as well. Or we have that great dry, what I call a dry brushed background in the Moody Mauve. So that will be cool. Look at this one. I see scrapbooks in the future with some of these patterns. And then we have the pebbled path. So these use a lot of the in colors, right? Because there's our copper clay. And there's more. This is movie mall here. This is a really pretty one, I think. And then there's that wild wheat. We all know what that is. And there we have peacock and I don't know what that green is. I'll have to look and see what it says on the back. But that's a good one, too. Um, two more, I think. Out of here. 
Whoa, look at this one. That one's beautiful, huh? And that one. And that has beautiful blue sky. And this one, there we go, more of our copper. Copper clay. So yeah, so this, the colors in this one are, does it tell me? Uh, Azure Afternoon, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curly, Curly, Crushed Curry, <laughs> Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Moody Mauve, Pebbled Path, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So you can match this pack with just about anything. Hey, Marlene. <laughs> that is pretty cool. This is going to be so versatile. Love that. Love that, love that, love that. Okay. All right. So yeah, this one will be interesting when you get your six by six out of this because you're going to get some half sheets there of this pattern. But that's okay because it can be a focal point in the center, right? That will work. All right. And then I have a new specialty paper. This is our printed window sheets, Gold Celebration. And there's three sheets in here. Uh, let me grab a pack of this cardstock so I can back it with something and you can actually see the patterns better. So that's kind of like confetti and streamers coming down. That is a beautiful collection. It really is. So that's kind of like streamers coming down. And then we have, and it said, this is our window sheet. So it's a nice heavy overlay just some gold dots. This would be great for like a 50th wedding anniversary card or parties or just a great background. And then this one, picked up a piece of my post-it note tape. This one is also, can also be confettis coming down, right? And or you could use it at the top or the bottom and We'll cut it this way so you would have two options there to do one of each. So that is the gold celebration paper. And that's pretty cool too. All right, that's all the paper we could pre-order, I think. I think I got all the designer paper that we could pre-order. Now let's move into, oh, let me do this while I'm thinking of it. So I, like I said, I haven't even opened. I just got it unpacked. Um, but I wanna make sure you know this. So here's the copper clay ink pad. Um, that's coming for you. This is going to be one of the new in colors. And Marlene, I don't know if you saw, but I did respond to your text from this morning and it is all gone. Someone said the back is silver. Whoa, let's look. You're absolutely right. I didn't even know that. Thank you, Corinne. Yes, yeah, so you've got gold on one side and silver on the other. Love that. Great option. So there you go. So copper clay ink pad, right? Um, of course, these are the newer styles. So they open like a compact, just like that. They slide. Now this one slides pretty easily. If you get an ink pad that you struggle getting to slide back and forth, right? Take a birthday candle, okay? Um, and run it in the tracks kind of like the old drawers that didn't have slides on them. We used to use candle wax, right? So you're gonna take just a birthday candle that you put in a cake, run it a couple of times in the track. Now make sure you get the wax that comes off, the loose wax, the flaky wax out, you know, brush that out or blow it out or whatever you wanna do. And it's gonna make this slide so much better for you. That's one tip I wanted to give you. The other tip is if you flip these over on the back, you have all these labels, right? So what I do, this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge here. We'll see if we can do it. Um, is take your, take your pick tool, take your snip something, peel the one that's in English, unless you speak another language. And then of course use that language and put that on the front edge of your ink, ink pad just like that, okay? 
so that if you're stacking them or you have a tower that you put them in or, you know, an old CD rack or a cassette rack, whatever, you can see at a glance what that color is. Some people didn't realize these were back here. The other thing that I do is I take a second one in a language that doesn't matter. So we're just gonna take the next one down and I get that one off as well. And I'm gonna do this more consistently than I've done it in the past. I'm a right-hander. I stamp with my right hand. So I put it on the left side of the ink pad, just like that on that side. Because when this is sitting on the table and it's open, and let's say this one's open and Moody Mob's open, because I said I'm going to have problems with those two colors. Um, I'm going to be able to see which one is which, right? So when it's open like that, if I can't see this part, maybe I have it sitting like that, I can still see that that's the color that I'm dealing with. Um, it just helps when you have multiple ink pads on your table and they're very, they're all in that same color family. So they're kind of dark and you don't know which is which. That is how you can make it a little bit easier for yourself. Okay. So I'm going to do that with all my ink pads. I've already pulled my retired inks and moved them to another tower. So that's one of my cleanup things today. Okay. So that's the ink pads. I wanted to tell you about that. Here are a couple of the standalone stamp sets that I ordered. This, well, this is actually not a standalone. This one is Circle Sayings. Okay, so we've got a cupcake, celebrate. Se sending you, smile today, happy birthday, thinking of you, warm hello, because you're awesome, and thank you. And then all of our images. And a two and three eight inch circle punch, which we've never had a two and three eight inch circle punch before. So I'm very excited about that for layering our circles because remember the online exclusives in the on in our on my store and online, you can find circle punches. Now they had sold out, but they're coming back, and I don't know if they're back yet. But you'll be able to get a couple of other sizes of circle punches. This one is lasting joy. I'm so sorry. I'm so thankful. Birthday wishes always. I missed your birthday. Guilty. Thinking of you, may the years ahead be filled with lasting joy. I love that one. And that's great for anniversary cards, for wedding cards, for birthday cards. Um, you're going through this. So I'm so sorry you're going through this. Um, hoping for better days ahead for you. In my heart, you're in my life. And then these little floral and leaf images. So that's a really nice standalone stamp set. Then I had to get this one. This is the crafting with you uh, bundle. And this says life is better when you're crafting with love, sending you a handmade hug and you inspire me. And this is so appropriate for all kinds of crafters, right? Right here's our die cutting machine. Now, how cool is that? <laughs> that makes me so happy. And you have a tiny little heart and a little flower. You've got the canvas with the paint brushes for painters. You've got the sewing machine for seamstresses, for quilters, basket. Just lots of people that make their own baskets, yarn, crocheting, knitting, cruel, all that kind of stuff. This is more knitting because it has the knitting needles in it, but it could be used for anything like that. And then the greetings are perfect. And I did not. Some of the dies we opened and looked at when my mother-in-law was here, but I didn't open these. So let's do that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got scissors and a ruler, standalone basket, spools. That's a nice circle. Oh, look, the flower will cut the flower out on the canvas. You could literally pop it off of there. So like if they were using um, resin or something. Yeah, that's really cute. Now I want to play with that right now. Buttons. I don't know what this is for. Oh, maybe the brushes. I bet this is the brushes here. This is the basket. So yeah, very, very cool. Sewing machine. No, that's the sewing machine. And that's the die cutting machine. Well, I'll have to cut that one and see what that one's for. Okay, so a great, great set. Love that. 
I'll show you the cheerful daisy that goes with that cool daisy paper. Cheerful daisies. So you've got, it's a two-step stamp, obviously, or maybe three when you're putting the centers in, right? And you have one, two, three different daisy images. We've got a stem and a leaf and a cluster of daisies, two centers. Your friendship means everything. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Oops, a daisy. So sorry. That's cute. And you've made my day. This is photopolymer. And I swear to you, I opened it. <laughs> I like the lasting joy too. Embroidery hoop. Oh, there you go. Good. Yeah, you're right. That craft set is awesome. And then there's our daisy. So this is going to cut out your stamped images. Look, we've got some standalones as well. Which I always like that. A uh, little tag, a branch or leaf. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. This cuts out your, your stamped image. So very nice set. Loving this one. We'll be playing with that quite a bit. Um, let's see. Wonderful thoughts is another great greeting set that's coming. You're wonderful. You're loved. You matter. You've come so far and accomplished so much. Thinking of you. Nice font. Congratulations. Nice size. Nice font. You are much appreciated. It's okay to fall apart. I'm still here for you. My heart will always be tied to yours. Hi, friend. So happy that you are my person. You can do amazing things. Thanks. Hello. I'll listen to your silence when words are just too much. This is only the beginning of a life filled with love. So that's a great, 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 great. Hey, Christy. Great greeting set. Like I really hadn't looked at all of them before and that is really good. I love that. One. All right. I'm working it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I should have, I, like I said, I really thought we looked at these dies. <laughs> so this one is like the charming sentiments. It's going to give you a tight cut around your greeting. Plus we have this flower image and a couple hearts um, as well. So that's going to be another nice, nice set. And I think charm, the charming sentiments carry over. I believe it did. I believe it did. Have I've pulled lots of ribbons and papers and inks, but I haven't pulled stamp sets yet. And then I got one more, two more bundles, seasonal branches. So I'm really liking the idea of this because this is going to be a year round set that we can use. First bare branch for winter, obviously. And then we've got spring, summer. Oh no, this is spring, summer. This could be spring or summer. Um, we've got the apple, the bird, individual little flower, get well wishes, you're in my thoughts, happy birthday wishes, love, thanks, sending an abundance of love or thanks, and may you feel sheltered in the love that surrounds you. So that's a great one. Oh, I hope it is too. When do you get home? Inspired Daisy, that's cool. So photopolymer, remember, it's always printed on the inside of your case. So you can always double check as you're putting something away that you've got all your stamps in there, right? Look at that die set. Woo. That'll keep you die cutting. So some individuals as well as all kinds to cut out all the stamped images. Plus you've got two of the leaves so if you stamp two leaves you can cut two at a time two of the apples three of the little flowers so i like it when they give us multiples right it just makes it a little bit easier and this little i think that's supposed to look like a little tulip you've got a couple of those two or three of those in there as well so that's really nice and not just flowers <laughs> not just flowers. That is the one thing I did notice in the catalog, guys. And I know a lot of you have said another flower set, another flower set, but it is much more diversified. Does that make sense? So yes, there's lots of flowers, there's new flowers, but there's also other stamps that 
seasonal branch, for instance, is different. It might have a flower or two in it, but it's not a sole focus on the flowers, right? This is our countryside corners that went with that beautiful designer series paper and all the blues. And it's really cool. So it is like a background. It is photopolymer, right? So it's like a background stamp. And then the die, or dies, the 24th, okay. Look at this. So when you stamp this, you're gonna be able to cut out all the layers the whole way down to the center. And then we even have a little banner in there that we can cut out. How cool is that? So all of these different designs can be used either as a mat or as a frame, depending on if you use one or two of the dies. That is different and unique, and we have not had that before, so I'm excited to play with that as well. And just think about cutting out in that beautiful designer series paper with the dies. You wouldn't even have to use the stamps or the stamp. I should say, the stamp. And then this one also comes with an embossing folder. My fingers are not working. That's the pattern. And this is in fact, this is not a 3D. So this is just a standard embossing folder, but it has such a pretty pattern on it. So I think that's one of the patterns that's in the designer series paper too. So that will be fun to have that whole coordinating product line. And the last thing I have to share with you is the little monkey. I had to get him. He's just too cute. Um, I know I don't have kids, but I'll figure out some way to use him. Um, I'm Bananas About You, just swinging by to say hi, and little monkey. And of course, we have a heart, a branch, a banana, an open banana, and a closed banana, a little face that you can stamp on the coordinating punch. Okay, so it's going to punch out the banana, the monkey his little face, the section of his face. And I'm not sure what that is over here. I'll have to play with it. Um, but anyway, yeah, you'll cut out, this guy is the one that's gonna cut out with the punch. So that'll be fun to do some fun things with. And I'm excited because they are bringing a little bit more of these types of punches out. And I know I've had a request to bring back my punch art classes, but I haven't really felt inspired with the punches that we have. So as I see more of these come out, I might revisit punch art. But anyway, guys, that is my haul, <laughs> if you will, um, from my pre-order. And, oh, sorry, guys, my voice. I am going to be giving away the gems. So make sure if you're watching, you definitely give me a thumbs up. You subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and you leave a comment. Even if you're watching the replay, please do those things and leave a comment because I don't draw until right before I go live. So I'll be drawing next Tuesday, probably around 11.30 to give away the beautiful new gems from the catalog, the new coming catalog. All right, hey, and you should, if you are on my mailing list, if you are a current customer that has purchased from me, um, within the last six months, then the catalog is either on its way to you, or if you're local, I'll be getting ready for porch pickup soon. Um, if you are someone who does not have a demonstrator in the U S and you need a catalog, as I said earlier, please, please reach out to me. Um, we'll make it work out somehow. Hey, Carol, nice to see you. Um, and don't forget that last chance list is still going and there's still lots of great things to be gotten at a discount on there. So when you place that minimum $35 order on my website using this host code for April, you will qualify for these card kits. Okay, so that's five great cards with a color PDF, all the supplies you need, the ribbon, the embellishments, 
all cut and scored for you. All you need to do for the most part is substitute or bring in a greeting and ink because we cannot stamp any images for you um, to stay in compliance with stamping up. Okay. All right. Have a fabulous day, guys. I'm going to have one because I'm going to play in my studio and put all my new, my new goodies away. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate you. And I'll be back next Tuesday here on YouTube. But if you miss me and you want to see more, I'll be live Thursday morning at 10 over on my Facebook page. And we'll be making three great projects. So check me out over there too. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.